Welcome to The Good Mood Show. Here's your host, Matt O'Neill. Welcome to The Good Mood Show, the show that always puts you in a good mood and is here to teach you techniques to feel your best. This is The Good Mood Boost, where we hear from an expert on how they suggest we feel good this week. Today, we've got a special guest. His name is Connor, and he goes by The Irishman Speaks, and he teaches how to add humor to your presentations. Let's hear Connor's good mood tip. Well, 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 isn't it amazing what you find when you're out walking the land? The camera right there in front of me. Hi, everyone. I'm Connor Canine, uh, Irishman Speaks, I'm a, and I'm an expert on adding humor to your presentation. But the other side, oh, sorry, adding humor to your presentation. One of the things I speak about is that you don't have to be funny to be funny. And you're saying, what is the man talking about? My theory is that if, as research suggests, we laugh about 15 times a day, and the Journal of Hospital Medicine actually cites that research, that means that in the last week we've laughed about 100 times or smiled 100 times. And I bet any money you can't remember more than two of them or even three of them. If you can capture the humor around you, take an old bit, pop it into your iPhone or some other device for taking notes, you don't know when or if you'll use that humor, but quite likely you will at some stage. I'll give you an example. As a keynote speaker, and the brand is Irishman Speaks, I speak a lot to associations and corporations. One of my target markets is manufacturing and safety conferences. And a simple definition of safety, not mine, I heard it sometime, was you go into work with 10 fingers and toes, you come out with 10 fingers and toes. So let's assume I'm speaking to an organization where I'm saying, you've got to be aware of your surroundings. And I think everyone will agree with that, but how do I make it memorable? So this is the way it might go. I'm somebody into my keynote presentation. As I've said previously, you have to be aware of your surroundings or else you're going to get into trouble. A couple of weeks ago, my wife and I went to collect our darling six-year-old red-headed granddaughter, Maggie, from soccer practice. We were taking her for an overnight. We arrived at the soccer practice, took Maggie from my daughter, Amy, put Maggie into the back seat of the car, tied her in. My wife sits in beside Maggie. And then, being a goofball granddad, I sit in beside them as well. Maggie suddenly realizes, Grampy, you should be driving the car. And I said, no, Maggie, I want to stay here with you. And she goes, Grampy, as only a six-year-old granddaughter would be able to say. I get to the order of the car. Slight problem. We're on child's lock. Yes, Grampy and Grammy and Maggie are stuck in the back seat. And child lap. I had to phone my daughter to come back into the parking lot, find our car, and open the door for me. Now, that's an example of something slightly humorous that puts a smile on people's face when I tell the story, but it's also an example of the importance of being aware of your surroundings. And when you're in a manufacturing environment where you have to be aware of your surroundings, Keep an eye out for what is happening. Keep an eye out for your work colleagues as well. And if you get into a situation where the child lock is left on, when it shouldn't be, you can get into trouble. If your workers, co-workers get into a situation where the child lock might be left on and allow them to get into trouble, make them aware of that situation. So that basically, gang, is a simple example of a piece of humor that I captured. I didn't create it, but when it happened, and we all laughed, I popped it into this machine, and now I use it regularly in my presentations through manufacturing of the safety loops. And what it also, by the way, allows me to do is that two or three times 
later in my keynote or presentation, I can say, remember, gang, be careful as to whether or not the child lock is on. Or remember, gang, be aware of your surroundings. Don't have the child lock on when it should be off. Or make sure the child lock is on when it should be on. It's kind of a callback, but it's based on a humorous little anecdote that people will remember. And I also finally say, is, as we're leaving the keynote, I'll say, all right, gang, you're going to be driving home. Quite likely, you will see some kid in the back of some car. Just think about the importance of being aware of your surroundings and whether or not the child lock is on. Say, so, well, Conor Kinnean, Irishman Speaks, adding humour to your presentation. See, I got it right that time. Hey! Cheers. Uh, the brand is Irishman Speaks. You can find out details about adding humour to your presentation at irishmanspeaks.com slash humour. That's irishmanspeaks.com slash humour. Cheers. So that was Connor, and his message was about finding the humor that we have every single day in our lives. And, you know, I heard a statistic not too long ago that children laugh 300 times a day. Connor just said the average adult laughs 15 times a day. Well, this is the Good Mood Show, and, and nothing feels better than laughing. So what could we do to laugh like a child? And children are just caught by the spontaneity of how funny life is and how silly things could be. One of my favorite things to do is tickle my children. And they just laugh and laugh and laugh. And they love to be tickled. Now, my wife doesn't love to be tickled. And she says that it's just not a fun thing anymore. But as adults, couldn't we find the joy in laughter? Couldn't we enjoy being tickled? Couldn't we enjoy being surprised and having fun again? Connor takes a, this funny story of getting locked in the backseat of his car. And he said, we just don't remember these times. And so we need to capture them and then think back on them. And I, I just agree with this. I think it's a great idea. I, you know, he, he's saying that the average adult laughs 15 times a day. I don't know if I laugh 15 times a day. I'm sure I do. And uh, because I, I try to make, I try to laugh all the time, actually. I try to laugh when people say something funny and surprising, and just because I know it picks my mood up. So uh, try to count. Let's, let's do this together. Over the next week, let's try to count how many times a day we actually find ourselves laughing. And then let's really try to capture at least one a day that had us completely cracking up, like laughing so hard, we're crying and, uh, and we, can't, we can't even stand up straight, like we're falling over laughing. Let's try to capture those with something. Connor says, take a picture with your phone, record a quick video and, and make a memory of this laughter because you know that's really like when we think back on our life, what we have is our memories. So uh, Connor, thank you for sharing the laughter and the joy today. I hope you guys enjoyed his tip to have a good mood and we'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of The Good Mood Show with Matt O'Neill. For free resources, videos, and materials about getting into your best moods, head over to thegoodmoodshow.com. See you next week, same time, same place.